This is Twit. Apple said we're sorry uh, about the FaceTime bug, and I love this, and we're going to give the kid the bug bounty. <laughs> Good for them. Yeah. So, the whole, you know, this actually, was this last week? If, it feels yeah. like this is... I think it broke on Tuesday. Yeah. So uh, at the time, we were kind of puzzled about this report that a, a mom and a 14-year-old had discovered it a week earlier. We weren't sure. In fact, I, I think we mentioned, we said something like, well, the Twitter account might be new. We don't know. It turns out, no, she's real. Grant Thompson and his mom uh, found it a week before the security researchers did, a week before 9 to 5 Mac proved it. Uh, his mother uh, tweeted Apple, and then I think later uh, went to Apple support. Apple support, about January 22nd, directed them to file a radar bug report and in order to do that. This is, by the way, I think we, we kind of, and everybody misreported that they said, no, you have to be a developer. No, they said, go fire a, a radar bug report, which is where bug reports get filed. It turns out, though, in order to do that, you have to register a developer account, which is not a huge, do you have to pay? It's the used to be ninety nine bucks, one, right? Yeah. Okay, so no, but that uh, can't, can't use the the basic yeah. developer account for yeah, I, just getting a lot of free. Free things out. To, yeah, to, I just don't exactly. know if you're just an Apple ID, but yeah, it is. This is yeah, the knee jerk reaction of so many people at Apple is file a radar, and yeah. this is like well, that's this their is a system. security. The problem is this is a security hole, right? They yeah, should don't. not get tossed in radar. Anybody who's used radar, Apple's bug reporter knows that at least from the outside, it appears to be a black hole. Where bug reports, I thought you were going to say, Leo, where bug reports go to die. <laughs> because that's kind of what happens with so many things filed to radar. And it I is hear this complaint, though. We've had exactly the same complaint about Microsoft. Remember, there was yeah. a, a, a terrible Windows bug that deleted data. And, Apple, and Microsoft apparently knew about it for months. Or, well, it had been reported for months, but Microsoft paid yeah, no but attention. Yeah, but like a zero-day security exploit that, that lets serious. you listen in or see people... Uh, in yeah. their homes feels like a little bit of an escalation. Yeah, but I think when, I think when you have <laughs> when you have a confirmation that somebody at Apple actually saw this report that this per, this person tried to uh, file, it seems like the first thing you do is, gosh, I I work at Apple, I have access to an iPhone, I should try it right here, and then file your own bug report when you find out that oh dear, this is real. I just it's uh, as a uh, when they when uh, t I think was did did Tim Cook directly post on Friday uh, to I think it was. Mac, uh, one of the Mac blogs uh, about, okay, it looks like we're not going to have our fix this week like we promised, but it's going to be here next week. And by, and by the way, since I got your ear, I do understand that we this should have been escalated much more quickly. Now we're going to be looking at our process for for receiving these bugs and and escalating it. Yeah, they, so they, did, I think they, they did acknowledge that, yeah, yeah, we should not have, they, they told us we didn't do anything and that's a problem that we should fix. So the, the mom, Michelle Thompson, says that on Friday, an unnamed Apple executive flew out to see them in Tucson, and he may in fact get Apple's bug bounty, which could be something like twenty five thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. yeah, no, it's good. I I think look, this is troubling because this was a huge issue and uh, with with a lot of fallout and seemed to just fall through the cracks. At the, at the same time, I do think, and you know, again, I'm trying to say this is a, a big thing. We don't understand. I think most of us the scale of one of these big companies in terms of yeah. what comes in over the transom, like. It's not like there's a person sitting at a desk with a telephone waiting for it to ring and and then suddenly a kid <laughs> from Tucson calls and like Apple finally yeah. somebody to talk to. Yeah, it's more know. like just thousands Every of day. calls and it's Every mostly day. garbage, right? right? It's like 99.9% .9 of it is not I can't figure out how to turn off my Wi-Fi. Right. Like 2% of it's bugs well, and 0.01% and, and of it is actual legit security and issues right. and the challenge is how do you filter that out? And they failed. They totally failed here. And and, and it's too bad because but but it is a brutal test of one of these big companies. Well, and you use. have you have a lot of people out there answering those those phone calls and we can't expect every person that that picks up the phone to to treat it like an executive would. You know like you know that that every person that's handling customer support when you call is going to treat it as if Tim Cook would treat it when someone called and said there's a problem. I mean they're dealing with this is one of as as Jason said a whole bunch of calls. Now, and they literally may not know it's uh, you know may not register how dangerous or right. bad this could be. Right. And 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 it is I have a feeling this was probably connected to the um, group call. Yeah. So group I don't calling think it was around until twelve one three or whatever it was came out. October. Yeah, it and it. Yeah. Group calling is. Uh, I have a lot of experience with group calling. Uh, <laughs> so group <laughs> He's calling, the expert. Uh, group calling is is super uh, super complex as yeah. far as how you manage 
how you manage everybody hearing everybody else because it's all mixed minuses and it's all going back and forth and it's all dealing with um, multiple data rates. And, and that, so FaceTime, when they say, oh, we got up to 32 people in FaceTime, that is an incredible feed. Yeah. And, and I know that um, there is an enormous amount of attention uh, that was spent on other group calling um, platforms to make sure that exactly what we saw there didn't happen. And that's that, all they talked about. That actually that. is a, a legit question. Do you think that that was a bug that should not have slipped through? It's a bug that you don't think about until you do it once. I mean, it, 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 it quietly You, you would have known? Is that oh, what it, you're it, saying? It happened in other platforms. It's just that it, no one... No oh. one no, it, it, this is... We had so issues where... For those who don't know, what happened is if you added yourself to the group call with... Like, I call Alex, but I add myself, make it a group call. And then when the call comes in, I answer it on my second account. And it turns out that answers it on Alex's account, even though he yeah. has it picked up. And I can hear and see what's going on in Alex's So, end. I mean, I, I think it's For, telling... Until he picks up or hangs it's up. It's telling that this is a feature that got delayed, which means it probably, because of QA problems, mm -hmm. because of quality issues. Ah. And so you've got to wonder, did it get fully tested? Because right. it got delayed, was there pressure to put it out there? I, I I don't want to undermine the complexity of these issues. At the same time, given what was required to duplicate this bug and knowing people who are software testers and QA engineers, yeah. like pushing the wrong button at the wrong time yeah. and adding yourself and all that, mm -hmm. this is this is like software testing Bingo. 101 oh, stuff. Really? So okay. I'm kind of shocked that this they bug should have got there. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what really surprised me. That was not something that, oh, if you have this special, if you put this special file in a special directory, it activates X. Or if you happen to have had it plugged into Firewire instead of Lightning, no, again, this is something like, this is like the, the, the monkey scripts that you usually put together, or at least I was aware of people putting together, that's just monkeys pushing random buttons automatically and then the app the, the script reports back if something happened that was not uh, not anticipated so that's that was very very surprising to me um, and also uh, like I, I think I mentioned this last week when we were quickly talking about it that this is this is why I think that you are inviting bad mojo on yourself when you buy a huge billboard saying that you this uh, the iPhone is the bastion of security and privacy which is again this was an this was an accident it, like like Alex said Said, other platforms have had this problem but when you're going to really slam dunk that point so hard it really invites god to say hey <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if we made this happen on all their phones and I guess it, it was I, all everyone would talk about for an entire week i guess i would say though that i i appreciate the fact that they did that because it, it does raise the bar and it means that they're gonna have to play at a harder thing and, and something like this looks particularly bad because of that and i think right. that that's good because it means apple's gonna have to keep on moving down that path i think they're there's and they acknowledged it, and they didn't. They didn't try to deny it. They said yeah. this, is, this is a problem we should have solved, and we are moving to solve it. As opposed to, I, I can't believe that you think this is a problem. I mean, this isn't a problem. Do you realize how few people were affected by this thing that you call a problem? It's so well, funny. You think it's a problem? And I think that I think that their secrecy is is part of the problem too, because what happened is is that you know for for other platforms that that are group calling, uh, we would file two or three pretty rough bugs a week. And we would literally say, if you do it this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this is what's going to come out. And it's because we were doing all these uncontrolled events. The, the guys that are testing it, you know, they get into a zone of, oh, you click this and click this and click this. And then what we were doing was clicking a different order than they were. And when they're testing it, they get into this pattern of this is how they do it. And until it goes out into the public, you don't you don't think of another pattern. Like you don't even think another pattern would be possible. You know, yeah. when, when you I'm do gonna, it until I'm going to be that. in the rare position of defending Apple here. <laughs> I'm usually <laughs> on the other side. But uh, bugs are bugs happen. Yep. Bugs slip through. Bugs are hard to get. Apple mm -hmm. did respond. You know, and I also understand why Grant Thompson and Michelle Thompson's report was missed. I think once it became public... Uh, in a way that Apple had to pay attention to, they responded very quickly. Yeah. I think shutting shutting down group FaceTime was, was a big move, right? Because you're breaking a feature for a lot of people. Big deal. And it was and they absolutely did it. the right thing Without to do. Without hesitation. And they did it. Yeah. Um, Grant, by the way, says he 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 also feels the same way. He was on uh, CNBC's Squawk Box. He said he'll still use Apple products. Every now and then something like this just falls through the cracks and can be found. He says, I believe Apple's still trying to protect user privacy. I love it that his mom said... Uh, if, if he did get some bug bounty money for what he found, we'd certainly put it to good, good use for his college because I think he's going to go far, hopefully. This is actually a field he was interested in before and even more so now. He gets 25 grand. I think you've guaranteed this guy's going to be a, a security researcher when he, yeah. when he gets well, out of school. I don't, 
for twenty five thousand dollars, he's not going to go very far in college. That's what. That's uh, semester, oh unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. depends yeah. what school. But. Absolutely.